Yo, so Bimblebop here, talking about my future plans. And my future plans are to make a copy of a copy of a copy. And what I'm referring to is I want to make a scaled replica of the Lego Minecraft comma in Minecraft. So the first problem you run into is exactly how big do I need to make a Lego piece in Minecraft? And here are two models of a two by four pip Lego piece. And one of the things that you have to understand when you're modeling a Lego piece is that you need to be able to subdivide your standard pieces by three vertically. So the minimum height of a Lego piece has to be three blocks. And so then your choices are, am I gonna be three high or am I gonna be six high? Well, the six high one actually works out a lot better because it allows you to subdivide the piece the way that you need to when you're creating the smaller Lego pieces. And also when you need to deal with that pesky problems, when they put the pit in a centered position, like they do on these flat pieces for sticking in things like their fake trees. So once you've decided how big your Lego pieces are, now you have to determine how big is this Lego llama actually going to end up being in Minecraft. And as you can see, it's pretty big. Just how many blocks is this going to take? And because I was an electrical engineer, I decided to take the engineering approach and approximate by calculating the number of blocks to create a box of this size. To do this, I naturally created a spreadsheet. In my previous work, we always referred to spreadsheets as GIGO. Garbage in, gospel out. As can be seen, the formula is quite complicated because when you calculate the number of blocks, you calculate it for the six surfaces, but then you need to subtract off the double use of the edges and the triple use of the corners. We can validate the equation by putting in dimensions that we know what the answers are for. So here we have two by two by two, and yes, indeed, it takes eight blocks to create a box that's two by two by two. The next thing that we can do is one that's three by three by three, in which case we see the answer is 26, which is correct, because the number of blocks on the surface is indeed 26, with the 27th block being in the center and empty. Finally, let's go to four by four by four. And again, we see the answer is correct, because as we know from before, you'll have an empty area of, of two by two by two, and this is eight. And if we subtract that from the volume, which is 64, four times four times four, we get 56. So now we have a spreadsheet that can calculate the number of blocks that we need. The next thing is how long is it going to take to produce them? So what I did was I created a sheep farm with 20 sheep in them. So if you count down here, you'll see there's 10 going this way. And going back the other direction, there's 10 going that way. And when you get it all said and done, I then AFK for 24 hours. And I stored the result in these three double boxes. And you end up with 7,722 blocks. Now, taking this information back into the spreadsheet, we see that we're going to need approximately 120,000 blocks to build the Yama, and that we can create 7,722 blocks per 24 hours AFK to produce them. So it's going to take approximately 15.3 days, Yowzer, in AFK to create all the wool blocks that we need to build this Yama. Am I insane? This isn't even taking into account the amount of time it's going to take to place the blocks. Well, this is Yo Soy Bimble Bob saying don't do what I do, like and subscribe.